Not that I've already obtained all of this or am already perfect, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining forward to what is ahead, I press on to, toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And for Paul, that prize was nothing less than knowing Christ. That was his singular greatest aspiration, as we saw last week when we looked at chapter 3, verses 10 through 11, uh, that Paul's desire was to know Christ by walking in the power of the resurrection and sharing in his sufferings. He said in 3.8 that he was willing to lose everything in order to know Christ. That was his focused aspiration. And so, all right, what does that take to actually know Christ in that way, what, to finish the course and obtain the prize that Paul is after, to, to know Jesus in a personal, life-changing, singularly devoted way? Well, according to what he tells us as he continues his argument this morning in verses 12 to 16, it takes first the humility to recognize that the race is not yet over. Um, that there's no time to look back until you've crossed the finish line. And it takes the passion and perseverance to keep straining toward what's ahead, to bounce back when you're knocked down because the prize is worth it. Because the prize is worth it. A, A humility and a passion that are both fueled by the gospel of Jesus. 